Welcome to Timber Nation Street. The soap with pink beavers. No, not like that. Actual pink beavers. This is a spin off series. Timber Bonners will return soon, probably. Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Timber Nation Street. I think it's Timber Nation Street, not Beaver Nation Street. Have we decided? I think we've decided. Oh, Bob the engineer died of old age. Bob. Anyway, anyway, where did we get to last time? It is now night time. That gives me time to think. Gives me time to catch up. Oh, do you see those two? They're having a bit of a Titanic moment there. And I, I will always... So yeah, last time we, I think we just set up this mine, didn't we? So we're now, we're now getting some coal. Uh, there's quite a few different materials we can get. And, but I think we did coal so that we could over this way. Yes, Iron Destruct Man is in the primitive ironworks. Making us metal fasteners, these little these little screw things. Because we needed them for something. The thing is, I can't remember. There's so much stuff in this game, like, honestly. Oh, look, with a primitive smelter, you can actually make your own scrap metal. That's cool. Oh, yes, it was it was dams. We can get a dam on the go. And remember, the whole point of this game is that we're, we're beavers, and beavers build dams. So I did prep by building a dam down here, and I wasn't sure how the height sort of works. Like, does water flow over the top does it just flow through the middle don't know but honestly it looks like it's at least sort of too high so if i did a dam across here because this is only one height it could flood my entire thing uh, at the moment you can see they're not actually in building range however if i build a path down this way in the water and then down here build some stairs then i'm pretty sure if i click on my district center yeah as soon as those stairs get made the stairs are in range these will then be made sorted okay that's good so we've got a builder here that's koi koi yes yeah, so if we fast forward <laughs> Look at him swimming. I forgot that beavers swam. Yeah, right. They're putting logs into the stairs. Uh, in the meantime, I do actually need to stock up on these metal fasteners. So I probably need some storage for those. So down here in storage, I imagine I want a warehouse rather than a storage pile. So what have we got? Mini crappy warehouse. <laughs> oh, you're selling that to me, game. Now, there is also a small warehouse for 30 science points. Oh, look, that needs a platform to be made. That's cool. But yeah, at the moment, I've got zero science. Maybe that's something I need to look at, actually. Trying to make science to unlock more stuff. Because I definitely need more stuff. Definitely not enough stuff to build already. Definitely not. Definitely. <laughs> actually, what do I What do I actually need for the science? Ooh, a library. Does that require... Oh, that requires loads of stuff. Sunflower seeds. Oh, we got the bramble. We got the berries. Yeah, so sunflower and dandelions, it looks like. And then modules can be placed inside. Are these the modules? The Mechanics Lodge. A fancy building to help engineers show they're smarter than us. Okay, we finally we finally know what we're aiming for. All right, I don't actually know. Does the library create science? It doesn't seem to... Si oh, yeah, it does. Oh, it turns those things into science. Yeah, what I need to build it is at the bottom. So planks, logs, and a red book. And if you have a look over here, because I destroyed my cart last time, there's a big red book in it. So, right, library. Probably probably want to put it up here, don't I? We just extend the path to there. Okay, that's where the door is. Oh, and did you see... Yeah, look, you can actually... Oh, so this leads to, like different levels and stuff. Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, right. I think I'd rather get the dam sorted first. So we'll up the priority of the dam. Oh man, these things really require some log. That is a lot of logs. Okay, actually, probably looking at these things. What's that? That's like a... It's like a science set. Chemistry set, even. There we go. Is there anything that requires, like, chemistry? Oh, here we go. The alchemist. That requires a load of stuff, which... Oh, I think we might be producing. Are we producing the tools? Like the six tools that we need? Let's just have a look over here. Is this where I can produce tools? That's metal fasteners. Yeah, they're also tools. Okay, man, I'll tell you what. I might need I might need another primitive ironworks because we've got a lot of stuff to build. We may need more scrap metal as well. I need more everything. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to grow the population pretty quick. So what I might do, I might sort of plan for that by adding some more like crops some more water pumpers. Although, to be fair, one one log pumper. Who's that? Brandon Riley pumping away. You're going to get splinters if they pump so far. But yeah, they are really keeping up with the water. Like, it's completely full, pretty much. Hence, I don't need this one. Actually, should I have a quick look? Immediate oh, look, they all need... They all need science. They also need tar. How do we make tar? Oh, would that be in the alchemist thing? Yes, you can make tar. 
can make loads of stuff in that. Okay, I feel like that's probably something we are going to need fairly soon as well. Why hasn't this disappeared? I think the <laughs> I think the game's glitched a bit. That's meant to disappear when I choose where I want to build this. I don't want to build it on the green areas. I think... <laughs> stupid... Get out the way, Alchemist UI thing. I think we'll just build it, like, up there. All right, okay. So up here, we have our two sort of... They're the big boy buildings. But yeah, main thing, I think we need to make sure water's fine. Make sure food is fine. And we need to make sure we're, we're set for the drought. So this dam, I really, really need to work on. So I guess I need more beavers to be workers. So let's just... Up that to four. So there you go. We got the four builders now. Trouble is that has taken jobs away from whatever we were doing. And I'm not exactly sure what, what they were. But right. In preparation for, for more beavers arriving, let's get another gatherer flag up here. There we go. All right. And then what I might do, we're not planting trees up here. Oh, you're actually, you're sat in your butt. Who are you? Montana Williams? What are you doing? Is it because, oh, it's full of logs. Okay. We'll pause that, Montana Williams. I think we're better off since we are growing trees over here. I mean, log numbers are actually fine. I think we'll just leave it to, to that lot. That'll be fine. I may put like the pine stuff over here, like the, the tapper shack sort of thing, because there's, there's a decent amount of pine resin on there. Although I do actually, I've got 164 pine resin. Maybe I should focus on like the variety of the of the materials up here. I, I went all out on brambles. I don't actually think I need that many brambles. But if you remember from the alchemist hut thing, like to make all of these things, we need like sunflowers and dandelions. And yeah, let's get these planted. All right, sunflowers. We definitely want loads of sunflowers. Uh, rice Paddies. Paddy. Uh, this plant must be partially submerged. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll make a little area down here for the rice paddies. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. All right, then the next morning, our little farmer, Labradog, they're getting the sunflowers in. The question is, when they're done, are they able to plant in there or is it too far away? Because when you click on the farmhouse, it does sort of look too far away down there. Right, Labradog is done. Where has he gone? I think he's just he's just gone inside. Yeah, so he's not gonna he's not gonna plant the, the paddies. Is there like a separate like like an underwater one? Or do I need to build a farmhouse? Oh, I need to build a farmhouse closer. Oh, okay. Okay, game. But we'll build the farmhouse up there. That can that can definitely reach down there. That'll be fine. Now, we'll pause this one for now because stuff is just growing. Or do I, do I plant more cabbage? Oh, look. That's what I need. Fermentation barrel. That's where I saw the brambles. That's the prickly thing up the top. So five brambles, ten cabbages. And that makes fermented cabbage? Bramble cabbage? But I'm pretty sure I needed that for something in the alchemist. Oh man, look at the cooking that you can cook with all these different materials. Oh man, it's like all this different food. So yeah, let's let's stop worrying about all this. We just need to plant more food basically. So all of that can be cabbage. I mean, to be honest, down here, just make it all cabbage. But yeah, I might have to, I might tell these trees to get dug up and just make all of this planting. I just gotta make sure we have like enough wood. I, may, I might need another forester. Tell you what, if I'm not worried about the pine resin, which I'm not, maybe I should swap the pine for ever blossom because that in 14 days, makes three logs, whereas the pine in 12 days makes two. So two extra days, I get an extra log out of it. So yeah, tell you what, let's plant some ever blossom somewhere. I'm thinking up here, just replace like these pines. I will need a forester hut up here just in order to achieve that. I'm going to lower the priority of the alchemist and stuff because I think they're they're way off. Like, oh man, we started building the library like quite a lot. Oh, should I build the library? Yeah, I should build the library first, I guess, because <laughs> I want the science. And oh, look, these are done. Does that mean, yes, we've started building the dam. So it's got the metal fasteners. It just needs the logs. We probably have enough logs to do most of these. We've got the dams on high priority. Oh, I don't, I don't know what to prioritize. <laughs> I feel like let's super high prioritize this forester. Oh, look, this gatherer flag is done. Amazing. We'll up the priority of that. And oh no, someone hasn't gone in. No one's gone in, even though it's high priority. <laughs> How do I always end up at this point in these games? I think it's because people keep dying. Fish the covers died. We've only got one free bed. So at the moment, we're not going to be able to expand our colony. Now, although if I un... If I unpause this water pump, two dwellers have gone in that. So does that mean, yeah, look, now I've got four free beds. Okay, so yeah, I'll just leave this water pump at low priority. I thought I did that last time, if I'm honest. But yeah, that's the cool thing about this mod. Pretty much every building has like space for dwellers. Yeah, but it does mean the more stuff you build, the more like your population can grow like uncontrollably. So you need to be a little bit careful, but I think I think we're all right, to be honest. Um, I am going to get a gather a flag because yeah, look, they're not quite in range. Actually, are they even marked to be chopped down? Cut trees. Yeah, they're not. You can see these ones are chopped. Oh, actually, they... How did I do that so badly? So chop those down, that one, and then chop all of these down. Another lumberjack flag, and then that's getting built. Nice. We can shove a beaver in there. Sleazily! So yeah, they will now hopefully chop down those logs. So that means wood will be coming in 
And, oh, yes, our dam will start to be made. We've made one one bit of dam. Just got to make the others. Oh, everyone's, like, hungry and thirsty. Did you, like, did you not have your breakfast? Most important meal of the day. All right, anyway. Oh, my goodness. Loads of births. I think if there's free space, like, these beavers, because they're all, like, pink and horny. They just literally, like, just do it. But, yeah, I need to name these after my patreons god dang and i'm just doing these randomly now but it's nice to see like some of the some of the like classic beaver names returning like sevens and delucas uh so basically to you guys thank you for your ongoing support massively massively appreciated all right so as we as we gain more beavers more population we're gonna need more food thankfully the cabbages are growing so that should satisfy us a bit because look we had we had completely run out of cabbage we've still got once we get the beavers up to working age we don't we don't make kids work here that's not that's not how you roll in timber Nation Street. Timber Borners, I'd be all over that. But Timber Nation Street, we're, we're a bit more upper class. But yeah, so we've just got to wait till they come of age so we can put them to work. I mean, alternatively, the berries over here are pretty much done. So Peter Schmolfelt, I might pause that gatherer flag and hope that you move up to this one, which he hasn't, even though it's like the second highest priority. <laughs> Why do I high prioritize everything? Like, unless it's super high priority, I feel like it does nothing. All right, logs. Okay, logs are actually flying. So maybe I'll pause one of the one of the lumberjacks. Are you now gathering berries up here? No, still no. Where are all these beavers going? Like, honestly, I need to get a forester in as well. Magmarel, yeah, you can go in there. So they should plant up those those ever blossoms. I mean, maybe would it be better like going to go explore like these areas? The trouble is this map is so huge. Like, like if I shout down the like up the canyon, like it echoes, 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 echoes. Yeah, it definitely wasn't me and the power of editing or anything. That was legit echo because this map's so big. But the last Timberborn series, I got so used to like small maps. Like, oh no, I am destructive man died of old age. Right, hang on, hang on. Slow it down, slow it down. Has someone taken his job over in the primitive ironworks? Yes. Peter Schmolfelt, jack of all trades, master of none. There you go. He he's in there making, making the fastness for us. That is good. Do we have anyone making scrap metal? No, we don't. Do we have much scrap metal? Uh, looking at our storages? No, we, we have none. Okay, I need to high prioritize this up from that priority to the max. Randy Hawker, get in there. Get us some scrap metal because we need those fasteners to make the dam. I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going, I'm going all out on the scrap metal. Tony, get in there, boy. All right, coal, I can probably... I mean, we're not actually making any coal at the moment. I think because we're completely full up. Productivity zero. For now, let's drop that down a person. But I'm thinking let's make some storage so we can store some more coal. Oh, no, look, we're also we're filled up with sawdust. That means we can't make more planks. So don't say, oh, don't say all well, you guys are in there making planks and you can't even make planks. Productivity zero because they're filled up with sawdust. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's drop that down to one person anyway. We don't need planks that much anymore. But I can see... Oh, we've just been wasting jobs. I can see why the planks hasn't gone up in ages. All right, we've really got to get... We've got to get a hold of this storage. Now, let's get a large pile. Let's get a few large piles. And we're literally just going to make sure we can always, always chop wood by storing sawdust back here. So that is three for sawdust. <laughs> I think I should probably get a small coal one next to it. Oh, no, actually, that's... I've got to remember, that's where another another mine will go if we need another mine. So let's put our path in just roughly. Right, but then we can get a medium pile. We'll shove it there. And we can tell that one to store coal. Oh, wait. The large piles, they cost six logs. Medium piles also cost six logs. Okay, I should be building large piles everywhere. All right, okay. So I've planned out a load of storage along there. That's good. What isn't good? Dry season in three days. How's the dam coming along? How's the dam? Oh, the dam isn't looking great, if I'm honest. What does that need? More fire. Fasteners. These need logs and fasteners. Okay, we've definitely got enough logs. So what I might do, let's lower the forester priority there. Get more fasteners. I, well, I essentially need these storages in. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think let's get the coal storage in. Let's just lower the priorities of these dams. Yeah, there you go. All right, okay, medium pile done. Coal storage is in. That means back in here we can increase the number of workers to get more coal being produced because then they can store coal there and then coal can be taken up here to where we need it to make those fasteners so we can make the dam we need more fasteners so let's increase that so sevens join peter in there although we are slacking on the scrap metal despite it being just next door maybe i need more more scrap metal as well because if we can get these fasteners done in the next 
day or two, then we can get the dams in and then we'll be laughing. Okay, so let's pause the log gnawing station because you can't do anything until the storage over here is built because there's there's too much sawdust. These trees are being planted by magma rail. Maybe we can pause those. Or no, not pause because then people will lose their houses. We'll just low prioritize that. Oh, I should probably pause these irrigation towers. We definitely don't need them. Not till the drought. Anyway, that's three jobs we're using up there. Right, okay, we're getting the... We're, we're increasing the scrap metal. Susan Thayer, she is getting that built. I wonder if... I wonder who will go into that job. Ready? Drum roll, drum roll as he gets built. Brahma Nation. They are now a scrap metaler getting the scrap for us, which means these guys, they sh oh, they should have a constant stream of scrap metal. They're really struggling for it. I guess it's because it's one part scrap metal to 0.3 of coal. So we need to have like three times the scrap metal coming in than the coal. I mean, to be fair, we've got two coal workers. They got a lot further to walk. So maybe that will actually work out okay now. Like the maths will work out. All right. Anyway, it's now, oh no, it's 0.1 days. So as soon as, as soon as this arrow gets to there, that's where the sun rises. The water is going to stop. Unfortunately, we didn't quite finish the dam. We were so close. What did we need? Oh, we just needed logs and we've got the, lo oh, we could have built it. In fact, what if I up the working arrows? Right. Everyone wake up. Get out of bed. It's time to wake up. We can still build the dam. There might actually, if we could build it in time, because yes, the water has stopped. But this water, if we can capture it, we could potentially still fill up this area. All right, so here come the cavalry. You can see they got the logs. Come on, little guys. <laughs> faster. If I speed up time, then they move faster. That's maths. That is maths. Okay, they're putting the logs in. Is there enough logs there? 22, 24. Oh, no, they're not going to be able to do it in time. Well, that that's annoying. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is all going to dry up. Yeah, look, there you go. There you go. It's all dried up. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. So, what we need to do is, well, we need to lower the priority of the log pumpers. You're just sucking dirt, mate. That's, that's no good for anyone. We then need to turn these irrigation towers back on. Oh, look. As soon as you press plate, like, water comes out of them straight away. Decent. All right, so that's three jobs taken up. Yeah, oh, annoyingly, it's not really going to reach any there. How long is the drought? Oh, the drought's only half a day. Oh, that's absolutely fine. That was me, like, worrying. I thought it was hard mode, but, like, the second drought is, like, 12 years long. Oh, so maybe dams weren't as vital as I thought they were. Say what, last season timber borners, I got so used to, like, the game trying to kill me constantly. And to be fair, everyone told me like these beavers were really hard and I wouldn't survive like at all. But look at me. Cycle three, day one. No issues in the world. I'll say what though, I will pause those jobs. Now it's the end of the drought and I will get log pumpers back in ready. Friendly on you, you know what to do. Although where's the water? Come on, water. Come on, water. We're, we're ready for you. <laughs> right, water is returning the land back to its lovely green self. Plants are growing again. Trees are green. Some of them are pink. And oh, look, we finished the dam. The dam's done. Oh, okay. So we should see the water level hopefully rise up. Yes, water level on left side is higher than right side. I kind of thought the water would flow over though. Is it still going up? Oh, I'm not sure it's going up. Oh, don't say it was actually only one tool. Really? I thought it was two tool. Oh, so it... Oh, what? So I could have built my dam up this end. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually really, really annoying. Okay, well, let's get more dams up this way. I mean, to be fair, damming water isn't the end of the world. It's, I'm not going to delete that. But yeah, it's just annoying that I could have I could have just built it up here. So how... I mean, it's not really a good place to do it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I can build levees. Look at the resources you need for a levee, though. Yeah, the only trouble is I don't know how, like, the corners of these things work. So, like, will that work? Or, like, will water, like, sneak around the edge? I mean, I don't think it will sneak around the edge. So as we found down here, the water level doesn't actually go very high. But yeah, we'll get those in. Oh, we need... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need 30 metal fasteners. We've, we've already got 30 metal fasteners. All right, I'll tell you what then. We could actually reduce the number of beavers up here. Yes, we've got a good production chain going on, but we don't actually need that many anymore. So let's lower the priority of the scavenger flags. Let's reduce the number of workers there to just one. Same for the coal mine. And then let's get, I don't know, let's get logs back on the go. Food's looking all right. Water's looking all right as well. But oh, we do have two log pumpers. Wait, what? Even at the lowest priority, we've got, we've got someone pumping their, pumping their log, working their wood. How things have changed. Nice. Okay. All right, one well, pause that to get some planks on the go. Down here. Oh, look, the rice paddies are in which means we'll have some rice soon. All right, and then it's a case of what are we aiming for next? What's the news board? Oh, social life, news board. And it can be planted above cabbages, apparently. Oh, look, there's like loads of stuff in it. Okay, sweet, let's shove that in there. I think it gives us like some hints. So, yeah, right, okay, okay, it's done, it's done. What does it say? What does it say? The White Poor Gazette. So added steel saw blade and... Oh, this is like... I think these are like the uh, patch notes for the update. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Um, Something I want to 
focus on now then. Let's get this library constructed. We just need, we need a load of planks. How many do we have at the moment? Oh, we have, we have no planks. But yes, right. Let's add some plankers. You lot, you are plankers in this world. Oh, we're still on 24 hour. Oops, turn that down. <laughs> We're still on 24 hour working hours. All my beavers are like zonked. But yeah, if you look in like the beaver stats, the news board added plus one well being point. Remember, all these well being points, they add up to give us like better, better life expectancy and working speed and stuff. And look how much different food there is. We should really try and like get like one of every food because that would really, really add up. I mean, oh, look, that one plus 10. A balloon trip. <laughs> Oh, there's so much stuff I want to do. I think we do we do need a focus. And I think the focus is, it's got to be the mechanics lodge. So we've got to make tools, which we can do. We will have the fasteners. We have the pine resin. Oh, paper. Yeah, so we need paper. We also need the science as well. So yeah, even more reason to get this library on the go. Yeah, how do you make paper? Oh, look, primitive paper mill. Oh, decent. Okay, so we need clay logs and whatever that M is. Now, hopefully the red M, where we destroyed our thing if you click on each of these can you see like all the all the resources i'm hoping there'll be a red m there it is medium cauldrons in the rubble so what i learned is you have to change this storage to whatever you want it to be there you go medium cauldron if i then high prioritize this that should get taken over to that there. there you go look the beavers are coming over they're taking oh they're taking scrap metal first who's got the medium cauldron there it is there it is who's that alex halemba good work sir so up here there you go there is the medium cauldron and that means we now have that resource which means we can now build a primitive paper mill all right so since we got log storage here and stuff i'm going to build this down there so of course we'll up the priority of that all right and now that's built oh we got two eager beavers in there already so they are turning oh we can finally use up some sawdust they're turning sawdust pine resin and water as well as a little bit of a log into paper beautiful okay should probably shove down storage next to them and make it store paper as well and then another one for the clay maybe do we actually have anyone getting us clay at the moment no we don't we've got 50 clay though so i don't really think we need it right. oh in the meantime look my dams are nearly done we've got one in you can see that's already that's already sort of raised the water as it rushes around that side how far off is that being built we just need a load of logs so if we just fast forward through the day a little bit then the logs are in the construction can begin and there you go it's done okay now let's fast forward and hope everything upstream doesn't flood <laughs> right is that it okay okay i think that's good i think that's good so yes we now have more water stored up here which hopefully during a drought will keep all of this area green oh that feels better all right anyway these tooth cut planks they're way too slow how can i how can i get planks faster a rudimentary sawmill now for that i need a red saw like not to build the building we can build the building fine but in order to actually make planks so how do i get a red saw aha in the primitive ironworks okay got it i've actually got it now so we've got loads we've got loads of these these fasteners now so maybe i could get some of those on the goat i will build some storage down here for them first so steel saw blades and probably also the tools as well all right next up i feel like i need to i need to increase my population again don't i let's get housing in super high prioritize it all right okay so our house is in which means we've got we got some new births so many new births so lots of patron names to go in the kimberly omkar rce secretly in our oh not this again Again. All right, where's the shaming wheels? There they are. Oh, I need... Oh, I can't actually build a shaming wheel. I need gears and like sunflower juice. Well, that'll be first priority next time. I did just... I did notice over here. Look, so what we're, what we're creating are crude saw blades. And what I tried to store, if you look there, look, can you see they've got shiny things on? They're steel saw blades, not crude ones. And weirdly, I can't actually see where you where you can store the crude ones. So whether that's a bug or I don't know. Uh, the other thing as well, how do I turn a crude saw blade into a into a steel one? I don't know. That's how I make a steel one though. So maybe I just don't. And then maybe, oh yeah, okay. Um, okay, I got it. I got it. So those crude saw blades, they go straight into the rudimentary sawmill. Oh, this does need 50 power. I don't have any power. How do I make power? <laughs> <laughs> do we have any way of making power the power wheel but i don't have the materials and oh we could get a crappy water wheel on the go 
<laughs> Why are they all called crappy? Yeah, everything else requires science. Okay, it's so the crappy water wheel. Yeah, a couple of those across there. I can then say just demolish those just so we have some space. And then hopefully I'll be able to build this like on, on there. Yeah, I think that should work well. Oh, wait, look up here. That's where the crude saw blades are. They're building core elements. Hang on a sec. Does that mean they go on a fluffy red pillow? Oh, they do. <laughs> Okay, we, we store our saw blades on here very randomly. Considering they're consumable, that is quite random. Yeah, we can then put our saw there. And we should have all the materials we need for that. The the stairs are up in the air, though, which is a bit annoying. Oh, they're actually... Actually, no, 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 look. This is, this is a watertight building. I've just had an idea. Using some of my actual real-life knowledge, we can delete those, build the saw thing down there, so we have the entrance, and then that makes the river narrower, which in turn will make the flow velocity velocity faster which means these will spin faster create more energy oh that's actually quite good i like that i like that but uh, on that note i'm gonna say peace love and pink beavers bye guys <laughs>